Hello, in this presentation, we will record rental income within QuickBooks Pro 2018. In so doing, we will set up a new account for rental income. If you've been working along with us, we will continue with the Get Great Guitars problem. If not, that is okay. We will follow along. We can still follow along. We will be creating a Create Sales Receipt for rental income that has been received at this time. In so doing, or in the process of doing this, we will set up a new rental income account and a new item account for the rental income. If you have the backup file up until this time, you want to hit the drop down and go to restore the backup and that'll take you to this, this point in time. If not, that's okay. You can follow along. If you do, that'd be great because we'll have the same data. If you've been following along with the problem, you should have the same data as well. We have the Open Windows tab open. In order to open the Open Windows tab, go to the View tab and Open Windows. We also have the Company Homepage open, which is at the Company and Homepage. That's where we are at at this time. We're going to set up rental income. So first, I'm going to take a look at our income statement and see what we have so far. And then figure out what's the best process for us to record the receipt of income for rental income for renting in our case music equipment for this time period for this month first let's take a look at the income statement or the profit and loss as it's called within quickbooks by going to reports company and financial we're going to look at the profit and loss standard changing the date range from 010121 to 123121 here is our income statement. We have two types of income. We have merchandising sales. That's when we sell the actual merchandise, mainly guitars. We have the service items. That's going to be our service items, our maintenance items, and currently uh, lessons in terms of guitar lessons. Now we have rental income in terms of music equipment, renting out music equipment. We could put that into the same service area. It's not merchandising income. Or we could set up another account called something like rental income. If it's going to be part of our business often, then we want to put it up top in terms of rental income up in this line item. If it was something that we're only going to do from time to time, then we would have it down here in terms of rental income that we just so happen from time to time. We're going to be in the business, hopefully, of renting some of our equipment out. So we're going to include that up top in the rental income as another income uh, account. Now, when we add the income account, we could do that by going to lists. And we're not going to do it this way, but just to show, we're going to go to lists and chart of accounts. This is our chart of accounts. We could add the new account by going to accounts at the bottom and add new. That's one way we can set this up. And when we set it up, we would then set it up as a revenue type account or an income type account here. And we could do that, but we can also set it up as we go through the process of uh, recording our transaction. So that's the way we're going to do it. So I'm going to close this out back to our income statement. When we set this up, we're also going to have to set up the sales receipt and use an item in order to set up the sales receipt, meaning we have a new uh, revenue item and that's going to have to be set up within or it could be set up within the items list. And that would be here, that item being rental, uh, rental income of some kind. If we were to go to the lists, then we could go to the item lists. And that would give us, usually these are our service items here. So here's our service items. We're going to have to add a new service item, something like the rental income on, on the service item in this section. Again, we're going to do that as we go, as we put in the data. So I'm going to close this back out. We're going to go back to the home tab. And we're going to enter a create sales receipt for rental income for renting music equipment. We're going to go through our data here. First, we got the customer and it came from music store stuff is who we rented to. So music store stuff. And I'm going to type that in current customer. So it's going to pull up automatically tabbing through this. We're going to keep that template. We're going to say that we got paid already with a check. So we'll keep the check. We're going to put it in there as of uh, the end of the month, 228. Sales number will be the 6 again. The sold to should populate on its own. Check 6472. 
not our check number. That's the check that we received from music store stuff. Then we're going to need a new item. So we're going to have to put in an item here. This is either the service items here or inventory items that we are selling. In this case, we have a new service item that we are selling. So we're going to type in, I'm going to call it an inventory account. We're going to call it rent on music equipment. Rent music equipment. We're going to say tab and it's going to say QuickBooks did not find this equipment in your list. So do you want to set it up? Yes, we do. We want to set that up. And we're going to have it be called a service item. We're not selling the equipment this time. We're just renting it out. So we're going to say it's a service item. We're going to say the item number is here. Subscription or uh, description is going to be the same. It's going to be rent music equipment. Now the rate is going to vary depending on the music equipment we have. We could try to piece it out in terms of how much music equipment or what music we equipment we are going to rent. I'm going to put it in there at the current price. We're going to charge 4,500. That's something that we are is going to it's going to populate at 4,500. It could vary depending on the contract that we uh, set up for different music equipment rentals. We in practice we might want to piece out the music equipment and to have each piece of music equipment be uh, rented at a different set or have package bundles saying if you if you rent this package deal for a weekend then this is how much it costs for that package uh, of rental package so we're going to put it in there by 4500 we're going to say that that's we're renting this music equipment for a weekend or something like that and it's going to have taxes we're going to have non-taxable it's going to be a non-taxable item the account that it's going to go to once again an income statement account usually and we could put it into services but we're going to make a new one and we're going to call it the same rent music equipment so we've set up a new item and a new revenue account as doing this or we're going to set up a new account as doing this once we select tab it's going to say set up we do want to set it up so this is going to be the account we're going to we're going to set up as the default account when we enter the inventory item of rental uh, equipment when we rent music equipment we're going to keep the name there description uh, is going to be the same note that it defaults of course as an income account already because we're entering it in as a, on the on the sales receipt which uh, would be make sense to be an income account we're not going to populate any of the rest of the items here and save and close and there will be our item so if we so note what we have done here we have set up a new service item called uh, rent music equipment that's going to be the driving thing that that's going to cost out when we make an invoice or a sales receipt as we have done here and we've created a new account called rent music equipment an income statement account which will appear on the income statement as a separate service line item so we're going to say okay there is that if we make this a bit larger there's our there's our item there's our description the same in this case no tax quantity we're just going to say is one so we have the 4500 no uh sales tax that means 4500 total nothing in terms of uh inventory is being sold and therefore the journal entry as we create this will just be an increase to the revenue and an increase to uh, the undeposited funds because we have not yet taken the funds to the bank i'm going to go ahead and uncheck the print later item here we're not going to print this item and then we'll just say save and close take a look at the income statement and the balance sheet and see if it has done what we believe it should do so we're going to say save and close if we then go to, i'm going to first go to the balance sheet going to reports scrolling down company and financial scrolling down to the balance sheet standard changing the date range up top customize report date range is going to be from 010121 january 1st 2021 to 123121 december 31st 2021 okay there we have our information now it didn't go into cash even though we got a check it's going into undeposited funds right there there's our undeposited funds double clicking on that item scrolling down there it is there's the four thousand five hundred 
Double clicking on that, we then see our sales receipt. If we close this back up, close this back up, go to our profit and loss, which is going to refresh automatically since last time we had it open in the open items window. We now see a new income statement account. So we had merchandise income or sales before we had uh, service before. Now we have rent music equipment. Note that within the income section, as we add a new account, it's going to be in alphabetical order. So it's not it's it's in order first by type of account income before cost of goods sold. It's in order second by the order of the accounts because we didn't assign any account numbers to to specify the order uh, in any other way than that. So note that within the account type, it'll be ordered by alphabetical order by default unless we have some other ordering system such as account numbers. And there's going to be our rent music equipment income account. If we double click on that, there is our rental. If we double click on that, there is our sales receipt. Closing this back out, closing this back out, that is what we have so far in terms of recording the rental income and adding the new account for rental income as well as the new item.